scores a run. And there he goes. First pitch, Gage taking off. The throw down is in time. Here's 3-2. Got it. First one for Clark today. 3-1. Smokes. Right field toward the corner and down. There's your tie game. And it's another. At the end of the year. Here's the payoff. Got him. Got him. Runner goes. There's a swing and a miss. Brown's throw to second is in time. That ball served out to right field and traveling and off the wall. It looked like Chatterfield had a read on that, but the ball just kept moving. And instead, it's a triple for Peter Maservi. Here's one driven into right center for a base hit. Cooper is getting the wave around third. He comes in to score. I ball out to right field. Chatfield still drifting back to the wall. And it is out of here. A sixth of the season and ties up the game. Colton Shaw's 2-2. Reaching for it, off the glove at first and into right field. Cole Asante scores, and the stop sign. Ground ball, right side. He has 10 RBI in the last six games, and Harvard has its first lead. In to score, Cooper. Right Many times as Ferris was absent. That's rope to right, and it's down for a base hit. Harvard leads by two. RBI single by down, keeping it in the infield, but second chance. Williams can't get there. Jacobson a single, rounding third. The run comes in to score. It's nine. Richardson ready. Runner goes from first, and there's a grounder into left field. George Cooper with his fourth hit today in a tie for first. This one's on the ground to short. Colasante throws it on to first, and the Crimson take game two of today's doubleheader, 11 to four, thanks to eight unanswered runs. The series is even at one game apiece. Well, the ultimate cliffhanger is to tune in tomorrow to find out what's in store. We'll talk to you at noon.